Hey, what is up there, YouTubers? Aaron here. Got a bunch of odds and ends here that I've picked up recently and uh, just wanted to get a video out. Just finished watching a bunch of uh, videos that you guys have made out there. Watch one by Pepino Man, um, Mark from Kentucky. Uh, I feel like I watched somebody else's too. I can't remember who it was, but anyway, a bunch of great videos you guys are doing. Keep it up. And um, like I said, I uh, just wanted to show you some of this odds and ends stuff that I got. Got this one out of a pack recently, this Bo Bichette Heritage card. I think this guy's going to be a beast. Wanted to break some 80s wax and um, was lucky enough to get a Wade Boggs rookie out of it. I was pretty psyched. I was trying to get the uh, Tony Gwynn, but I was pretty happy. Can't complain of a Wade Boggs rookie one. Um, let's see. What do we got here? One card for my 1960 tops. This is a big one for me. Willie Davis has been a tough one to get. It's, this card tends to go for quite a bit. It's one of the high number cards. Some autographs. Manuel Margot, Manny Margot. Lewis Brinson. Get this Xander Bogarts. And of course, being a Red Sox fan, I had to have me a J.D. Martinez. One last Red Sox one here. It's 1978 Grand Slam. Tex Houston autographed. Uh, Tex Houston didn't play in the 70s. He um he's a oh, I want to say late 40s, maybe maybe a couple years in the 50s. But actually, I don't even know if he made it to the 50s. But anyway, he. He had a pretty good career, I want to say, like eight or nine years for the Red Sox. 20-game um, winner, I think, twice. Uh, was, pretty, again, pretty good pitcher on those 40s Red Sox teams. So I was kind of glad to get that one. Uh, lastly, got two cards towards my uh, 1950 Bowman set. Leo, the Lip de Rocha, Hall of Famer. Yeah, I was pretty psyched to get this. He's, um, obviously I needed this for the set. This is somebody I just wanted, um, I've always, I've wanted a card of his for a while. A little bit of a spot up here, but it just seems like part of the yeah, ink blemish in the card. It's not an ink pen at all or anything. I've, I've looked at quite a few of these other cards, um, online people selling, and it's pretty common that it's got a, a blemish right around there. And one last one here. Got this SGC Bowman, card number 100, Vic Rashi. Another tremendous pitcher for the Yankees. And man, I, I know this is only a VG3, but it's got pretty good eye appeal. And I really couldn't complain with the price. Uh, it was one of those deals where, you know, the sellout listed a price or best offer. I made him a. Made him one offer. I think he countered me, and I countered him again. And he came down to a price that was acceptable to me. Really, probably didn't pay. I don't think I paid much more than what this card would go for ungraded. All right, that's it for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope everything's going well for everybody, and talk to you soon.